having a good lineup on both the forehand and backhand volley. If you get the lineup correct in the beginning and the initiation of the movement of the swing, it's gonna set you up to hit great volleys up at the net. Now, what does it mean to have a good lineup? Essentially, it's the preparation phase. And what does it look like? We'll start with the forehand volley first. It's gonna look something like this. From your ready position, you're gonna split step, and as you anticipate the ball is coming to the forehand uh, volley, the forehand side, you're gonna step out with the outside leg, and you're gonna load the outside leg, but as you're doing that, you're gonna line up your hitting arm structure. So at this point, what, what can you see now? You can see, number one, I've loaded the outside leg, I've pivoted the outside foot, my strings of my racket bed is pointing in the general direction to my target, and the racket and the hand are still out in front of my body, where I can see it in my peripheral vision. Now, the other thing you can see, if you look at my hitting arm structure, I'll show you from the front. Now, my hitting arm structure, I've got a slight bend in my hitting arm, and the racket head is above the level of my hand. So the tip of the racket is pointing generally to the right side, going slightly upward, just like this. And that's your lineup. So from the ready position, a split step, step out, line up. And it's a very simple and compact motion. Since from this point now, all I've got to do is step through and hit the volley. There's no extra movement with the arm. Most players, however, when they're in their ready position up at the net, most players don't start in a good ready position. Their racket is down here somewhere. What does that mean? It means they have to try to make all these corrections to get to this point. So by starting, first of all, in a good ready position where your elbows are out and away, all you gotta do from here is step out and turn, and now you're at this point. Now, the other key part about this on the forehand and backhand volley, once you've completed the lineup, you don't go any further back now with the arm. All you do is step through and hit the volley. So most players, you may find this yourself watching the video, you activate the arm too much and the racket goes back behind you to where you can't see it anymore. And you end up then swinging too much with the arm to generate power. Now let's see it on the backhand side. Everything is pretty much the same. There's only gonna be a very subtle difference in the hitting arm structure, but also the non-dominant hand plays a very important role. Let's look at it from the front angle first. So from the ready position, I split step, I anticipate the ball is coming to my backhand volley. First thing I do, I'm cradling the racket now with my non-dominant hand. The non-dominant hand is doing most of the work. And all I do is step out, line up, and at this point, what can you see? You can see again, I pivoted the outside leg and I've loaded the outside leg. Second thing, my non-hitting elbow is raised just around shoulder level, and the strings are again pointing in the general direction to my target. It may just be slightly, very subtly open, but that's the key. Many players instead, it looks more like this. The elbow dips in too close to their body, their racket face opens, causing them again to swing too much when they hit the volley. So watch that again, a split step, step out, line up. Now the next thing you're gonna see for the backhand volley, the hit and arm structure is gonna be straight. And again, racket head is gonna be above the level of the hand, it's not gonna be dropping and collapsing, it's gonna look something like this. And then once you've set up your hit and arm structure and you've presented your lineup, you step through, hit the volley. Now the way you practice this, do shadow swings first, where all you go, you go from the split step, ready position, step out, line up, and hold. And then reset, do it again. Split step, step out, line up. Then you do the same for the backhand side. Split step, step out, line up. Split step, step out, line up. Then what you can do is progress it one step further to where you go stage one, line up, stage two, hit the volley, just in the shadow swing. Let me show you again. Stage one, line up. Stage two, step and hit the volley. Now, after you've done that in the shadow swing, you can try working with a self-feed progression. It's easier to do on the forehand wing. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult on the backhand, but I'll show you this real quick. What you wanna do, get to your ready position, complete stage one where you do the align up, just like this. And now from here, you're gonna to toss the ball, and then you're gonna make contact and step through as you're hitting. So it looks like this. It's gonna stage one, hold. Now toss, two. And as you can see, I'm not hitting the ball with a lot of power at the moment. I'm just feeling that lineup. And now as I toss the ball, you notice I don't go any further back with the racket, it stays here. So split step, line up, through and hold. 
Very simple and compact swing. Now for the backhand, it's gonna be more difficult. I'll show you real quick. It's gonna be split step, line up. You have the hip and arm uh, structure straight here. Now you're gonna to be tossing the ball under your arm, approximately a 45 degree angle going out to the left side. Now another uh, thing for the backhand side, you can choke up on the racket. This will make it easier for you initially. So here I've lined up, toss, hit, just like this. And after I toss the ball and release, I am focusing on connecting my hand back up with the racket. Let me show you again. So split step, line up, toss, hit. Very simple and compact swing. And then if you want to make it more difficult, you can go forehand, line up, through, back, backhand, line up, through. And you can just do that. Now, after you've done your shadow swings where you're just working on presenting the lineup and then you've done some self feeds, the next one you can do is a very good drill. You can either have a partner or use a ball machine where they feed you the ball. But before they feed the ball, I want you to already get to your lineup position. So you step out and line up and then you either have the ball machine feed it or your partner feed it. Since all you gotta do from here then is step and hit. So it actually isolates the swing and makes it a lot easier to begin with. So that's it for the volleys. If you learn to have a better lineup on both the forehand and backhand side, it's really gonna help you develop more consistent, but also more powerful volleys. So go ahead, give this drill a try. Also, please go ahead and share it with some of your tennis friends that may be interested in improving their volleys. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.